It's a nice change after thinking I was losing my marbles. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is, this is a good change from thinking you're going crazy. You're just, you know, using your sex telekinesis to reconstruct bridges. <laughs> Hey everybody, I'm Psychroclasm, and we got rescued by the slightly less insane sex cult, I guess. And then this lady's here. I was worried that we lost you forever. Why are you wearing a mask? And what the hell am I wearing? What am I wearing? What's going on here? You were naked and injured when they brought you here. You shivered and mumbled in your sleep. But it's okay now. You're not alone anymore. I wasn't alone in the first place. What happened? What is this place? We're on the outskirts of Bleakmoor. Here, the Scarlet Lodge can't get to us. I'm sure you have many questions. I do. But it's Sabinian who can inform you better. I am only here to keep an eye on you. Who is Sabinian? He's the owner of this property. He's also Amanda's right-hand man. Ah, Amanda. You should have said that right away. Who the fuck, who is, the fuck is Amanda? <laughs> Sabinian will tell you everything. He's inside the library. Cool. Who are and you? Who are you? Uh, where are my manners? You can call me Mabel. Just Mabel. I wish we had met under better circumstances, Mabel. I'm Victor, but lately everyone likes to call me the seeing one. Perhaps it'll cheer you up to know that you are not the first. No! They say there are many seeing ones. Really? How many? Are, are any of them here? I think you'll find those answers soon. Just not from me. Uh, Why? All right. <laughs> okay, whatever. Why are you wearing a mask? Finally, it's an explanation. Part of the tradition in our society, one that I respect and honor. What kind of society wears masks? The best one. You'll see for yourself. <laughs> that sure. Um, I'll go find Sabinian. That doesn't. Hey, okay, I'm sorry if I've come across as rude. This whole situation has been a mind fuck. Ah, <laughs> more puns. I like it. Oh. Okay. I need to find a phone and call Lily. This is going to be one hell of a conversation. Yeah. <laughs> so, some old guy sucked my dick, but I was tied up. I didn't consent. Uh, our, again. our terrible relationship is life. still going to be okay. Is this not the library? I feel like I asked that last time. Uh, library. Here we go. Oh, hey, this is where the thingy was. Where there were... Oh. Oh, it's like my puzzle box at home. An okay. impressive collection of books. I could spend the entire day here. Okay. Onomastic of the name of the Lustful God. The most common forms of writing the name of the Lustful God are Lava Brock and Eolva Brock. One with a lowercase l at the beginning and one with an uppercase i. It was the similarity of these two forms that explains the popularity of the second wrong option. <laughs> and why do we begin the, la the name of the Lust God God King with a lowercase letter? It was decided by the enlightened Lassie, who wanted to emphasize an important message that has roots in the genesis of the land of ecstasy. Lava Brock transmuted the beings of Lustga into entities of feeling constant ecstasy, but he himself did not change. In order to fully reign over Lustga, he could not experience the quintessence of the greatest idea by himself, as this would lead to the imminent collapse of the land of ecstasy. Because of this fact, the lustful god, also called the Great Martyr, a, this event proves that for Lava Brock himself, his work, Lust God, is infinitely greater than himself. Therefore, writing his name, beginning with a lowercase letter, is supposed to convey the meaning of this idea. Okay, sounds like a pretty cool guy, actually. Does the good thing for his subjects and then, like, suffers on his own. Welcome, Seeing One. It's an honor to meet you. The last man who called me the Seeing One tried to kill me. But they also me suck my dick one. real good. You have an insight into the world that others do not. There's no need for dispute over semantics. However, know that any man who has the gift of seeing is extremely respected among our society. No, oh, okay. Well, that's nice. I'm 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 very happy with the respect. What portion. am I doing here? Oh, look Amanda at the window. And Jonathan saved you in the darkest hour. Everything is hazy, but honestly, I prefer not to remember any of it. You were very lucky, Victor. It's rare that someone escapes from the Scarlet Lodge. Amanda and Jonathan managed to get you out of the theater. 
and brought you here. I never thought Jonathan for the violent type, but here we are. Jeez. Who are you? Who are you? Well, we are like you. We know that the world around us is not the only view of reality. We're trying to find other seeing ones. Like, your like pupils are not out. We don't want to use and brutalize them. So what is it that you want, then, if you're not the brutalizing and using type? We help the seeing ones and receive their visions with humility, as they wish it to be. Our goal is to understand Lustiga, and to do so, we reach out to those who have these visions. It's our understanding that seeing ones are appearing in the world, and nothing happens without a reason. At this point, I'm able to believe just about anything. Are there any other seeing ones here? Yes. Amanda. The most powerful seeing one I have ever known. She guides us, and thanks to her, we will know the truth. When she arrives at the mansion, you will have your chance to speak to her. What did she- did she stay behind? What's the Scarlet Lodge? They used to be part of our society. Together, we tried to peek behind the veil of reality, and learn the secrets of Lustiga, the land of eternal ecstasy. Unfortunately, there was a tragedy. Long ago, we managed to transfer to the other dimension. However, some of the group stayed behind too long. Their bodies experienced an ecstasy that bordered on pain. And their minds were drowned in inconceivable terror. Oh, After okay. these events, they turned their backs on us. And now, they obsessively seek to destroy everything related oh. to Ostaga. Some of them have become unpredictable animals that even Austerlitz cannot control. Austerlitz forced me to go into an alien world to retrieve a book. It was something called uh, the nature of universes. And when the vision was over, I still had it with me. How is that possible? Was it real? You came back from Lustgall with an object in your hands. There is no better proof that Lustgall is a material place. In the book you mentioned, the nature of the universes, that being in the hands of Austerlitz is a tremendous threat. It contains dangerous knowledge. Many of the seeing ones were forced to search for the book. They weren't as lucky as you. Why don't you report it to the police? They're a bunch of psychotic freaks. Sure. A gang of murderers and rapists. The Scarlet Lodge has a grip on the police. They're just waiting for us to reveal our position and then Austerlitz could destroy us. I think you know enough for now, seeing one. You should rest. Amanda will be back soon. Then we'll talk some more. Can I make a call? I'm sure my fiance is worried. No. If you must. Oh. Is that a problem? As I mentioned, the Scarlet Lodge has ties with the police. And I'm afraid that they might track us. That's why we conduct some peculiar methods of operation around here. The phone downstairs is disconnected for that reason. But here, take this key for the upper floor. Go to my room and use one of the phones hidden behind the painting. The phone's behind a painting. Don't talk too long and destroy the phone as soon as you're done. Under no circumstances should you reveal our location. Do I make myself clear? For all of us, but especially for your fiance. That would be dangerous knowledge to uncover. Hmm. Okay. I'll be careful. Alrighty. I don't know what to think about all this. And how to tell Lily it. She's gonna think I'm crazy. I'm actually com okay. I'm actually kind of confused because I feel like Sabinian betrayed the order in the first demo like is he not the sa is he not the sa from the uh from the letter in like is he sabinian austerlitz from the uh the uh shit the note in the theater wow damn she's strong Alrighty, so which one is you, Boo Boo? Ooh! A collection of mechanical oddities. No way I could sleep here. Okay, so I'm looking for painting? Assuming this is the right. Yeah, this is it. Okay, let's see hey, how this goes. Where do I start? Hello? Lily, hey, it's me! It's been a week! Wait. Victor. I called the hotel so many times, but no one would answer. God, I was so worried. 
I thought you were going to call me after your appointment with the doctor. Oh, where are you? Look, I really don't know where to start. Everything's been crazy. I... almost died, Lily. Uh, what? Uh, what are you talking about? What happened? My visions. They're real. Do you understand? He told her about him? Dr. Austerlitz wanted to use me because of them. His people are everywhere. What? Oh, where are you? D did you go to the police? No, 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 no. The police work with them. They're all part of the Scarlet Lodge. Yeah, this is going to sound fucking is. crazy. Shit. Uh, Lily, I know what this sounds like, but something seriously fucked up is going on. I don't even know where I am. I think I'm God damn it, you Bruce idiot. Moore. At least that's what they're telling me. But but who's saying that? What does this place look no, like? No, no, no. No, god damn it. Oh, that's probably her. Shit. Lily, I have to go. I will call you soon, I promise. Destroy the phone. Don't even try to be funny with me. Tell me where the fuck you are right now. Lily, there's someone here that's like me. She has visions too, or so they say. I have to go. I'm sorry. I'll call you back soon. Victor! Victor, don't you dare fucking hang up on me. Sorry. I can't believe he actually listened, aside from telling them he's out of... Uh, I, uh, so she's got to be part of it, right? She's got to be part of it. All right, where's she at? Uh, oh, there we go. What's going on? The Scarlets were sending him to Lustga. He almost lost his mind. Hey, that's the guy who was getting beaten there up on the second floor. The bathroom that'll help him. Get them fast. Are you Amanda? Now is not the time. Go. Get the pills. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. Is there a is uh, is that a head on his hip? You know what? Whatever. Uh, where's the bathroom? Oh, it's upstairs. I remember. Oh. Fuck. Didn't your folks teach you to knock? Ah. Look at his head, like, weirdly grafted oh, onto that body. Uh, sorry. Amanda told me to get some pills that are in here. Sure. Everyone says that. He hasn't seen the shitting freak yet, has he? Fucking weirdo. Donald, didn't you hear Amanda? Someone's hurt. The pills you're looking for are in the cupboard above the sink. Sorry about Donald. He doesn't know when to keep his mouth shut. Gah! I have to share my shitting time with you forever. But apparently that's not enough. Now you're inviting everyone in the mansion to be an audience. As for you, take these drugs and get the fuck out. I can't look away. I literally am not allowed to look away. Okay, whoa, there we go. <laughs> oh, God, okay. Okay, perfume and... I don't know what those are. What the hell was that sound? I guess it's a drain. I think that a few days ago I would have found that encounter strange. No, it was it was still strange. All right, I got him. What the? F where'd you go? Oh, hi. Oh. Is I'm back. Give the pills to B Bobby. Poor chap. This guy almost took him out. I, I hate to keep interrupting them, but it seems like a shit thing to do oh, to just let this guy suffer while they talk. Like a whole bottle actually christ what was that i uh, what did you find in lustka i don't know the words there are no words for it i heard screams from above i take it you've met the Sh shackley brothers are they from lustka too <laughs> asshole because you haven't met anyone like them before it doesn't mean there's no one like that they're conjoined twins ah i see i'm hey you're the guy that saved me from the scarlet lodge right y yes th that'd be me boy that was a rough one but I'm glad the new seeing one is with us. I'm Jonathan, by the way. I'm, I'm Amanda's husband. Victor. Oh. Victor Holloway. Where's Amanda? Uh. I was supposed to talk to her. Jeez, my head is spinning, spinning, and spinning. Dude, I have... And, uh, my wife went to talk with Sib Sibinian. They're probably in her room on the top floor. They're only talking, though. <laughs> oh, boy. It might be better to wait until the meeting is over. I think oh I can use boy! My Sabinian's phones. I didn't get to finish my conversation earlier, and my fiance is pretty worried. Sabinian's about phones? It. Oh, 
if I were you, I wouldn't make such mo moves without his permission. Then I'll wait. Can I have a look around in the meantime? It'll be good for me to keep my mind busy. I'm an antiquarian, so I have a soft spot for dusty places full of junk. Uh, not that it's dusty here, or that it's filled with junk, per se. <laughs> I, uh, just mean I wanted to stretch my legs a bit. Mabel used to keep things tidy, but lately she's only been cr crying in the corners. And this decor is part of the tradition of our uh, society. Cult. Look around. Just say like. cult. Oh, right. In the theater, we found a chest filled with things taken from, you know, the seeing ones. It's near the exit door. Sure. I'll check it out. And, hey, whatever happened back there, thanks. No, pr no problem. Let me know if you need anything. I'll be here with Bo Bobby. And don't go stabbing anyone with that knife. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this poor guy. <laughs> oh, man, his, his, uh, uh, excuse, what the fuck? Like, he has to know that, like, for story purposes, I'm going to be banging his wife, like, immediately. And Sabinian's probably banging his wife right now. I mean, I'm sure that's the implication, but... Okay, can I just take a whack at this? Or no? Okay. I gotta... Oh. Oh! This is gonna be the clues. Okay. So... So two is male. There's a lot of copies of this green book that has that symbol on it. I'm just gonna look around. Ooh, this one's the opposite. This one's got a black symbol on it. Three. I forget what that one is. Oh, it's not male. That was uh, Mars. Uh, Saturn, I want to say. Three is Saturn. Four is, I don't know what the hell that is. And... Come on, there's got to be a one. Weirdly, I don't see a one. Interesting. So... So that's nine, five, and two. So... Yeah, just let me do this. I can see it right now. Four, one, one, one. Yeah. Like, this This isn't even a puzzle. This has nothing to do with the books. This is actually just an addition puzzle. Why can't I fuck with it? Okay, whatever. Okay, so I need to go interrupt the meeting, possibly? Or maybe I should go talk to Mabel. <laughs> you fucker. <laughs> now he shat his pads before our eyes. <laughs> Two assholes with one ass. Marvelous. Maybe you'd like to have only one head as well. I'm sorry. We found this mask in Sabinian's room and Donald made me do it. Yeah, that's not evidence. Ah, I'm only kidding. Man, you really got me there for a minute. <laughs> what? No! That didn't go according to plan. Shit, shit, shit. Is shit like 90% of your lines? I guess I'm just gonna go this way then. The nature of universes. Ooh. Are you sure? Yes, I am. Damn. That book can tell him the location of the Chamber of Change. We know he's obsessed with it. I don't think we can do anything about it. What if we try to steal the book? No dice. Letting you in was hard enough. I'd rather find another solution. How's the new seeing one holding up? Terrified? Confused? Letting yeah. you in, so he's a double agent, maybe? Nothing unexpected. I'll talk to him. But let's make a plan first. Show me the blueprint of the theater. So maybe he's, a du he's either a double agent or like the mastermind behind everything.
Oh, I get it. That's Donald's room. Okay. I wonder what symbol's on my door. Or maybe I don't get one. Okay, yeah, I can just go around them. So... That's the symbol of resurrection, right? That's the, that's an onk? Hmm. So I wonder what her deal is. Okay, let me go find out what my deal is, actually. Like, do I? Oh, I have nothing, actually. So I don't get an eye or anything. So who should I go talk to? Oh, maybe I need to maybe I need to peek in on the meeting like from the attic. Oh, okay, never mind. So who else can I visit? I haven't really seen anything else. Like, obviously I'm supposed to go up here, because he surprised me. Oh, there she is. Okay. Cheering yourself up with some cards? Cheering up? Oh, Jonathan told you. Nothing new. He's such a blabbermouth. And these are not typical cards. They're tarot. My cards tell me I'm gonna be gone soon. I was planning to leave right after talking to Amanda. I just have to wait for her meeting with Sabinian to end. I came to say goodbye, and thank you again for looking after me. You're not staying with us? Why would I stay? Maybe the cards will answer your question. My tarot can enlighten you and shed light on your fate. I don't mm. believe in that crap. Not since I figured out who Santa Claus really was. Wow. After what you've seen, Perhaps you should open your mind to the unknown. Fair point. Down, please. I guess I have to wait anyway. Well then, do I get to pick let's them? Begin. Huh. Here's the card spread that will reveal the secrets of your life axis. As you can see, they're divided into three segments. The one on your left symbolizes the past. The middle one is the present, and the right is for the future. Simple enough? Now, choose the cards that speak to you. Hmm. Okay. So there's absolutely nothing that's... And also, this table has the... The, uh... Oh, shit. Uh, no, that won't help. I was gonna say it has the, the symbols that I need to figure out what the books are. But that wouldn't have helped me. But it was two, three, and four. But none of these, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to go two, three, and four. The hanged man. <laughs> apparently, you have we don't need to censor this one, apparently. Into the subconscious, gaining a new point of view. This means that you are ready to enter the stage of understanding. Understanding more often reveals hellishly unpleasant knowledge. So I'm fed up with such discoveries. Mm. We learn the most when we suffer. That's what I believe. No, you cry you a lot. You learned something about yourself. Time for the second card. Choose it from the other two spheres of time. Sure. Okay. A temperance. Okay, we do need this to censor this one. This is a signal from fate that here and now you must find a balance between activity and passivity. Normally, I'm the active one in bed, and my girlfriend is passive. So you're saying we should swap more often? Oh my the God! The cheap joke shows that you hold a fear of facing the truth. <laughs> I don't need the cards I've for that. Already heard it from someone. <laughs> and four. The strength. Hey, that sounds good. This card symbolizes control and restraint of will. It means that you will finally be able to control your hidden desires. That doesn't look like what she's that doing. Strength, if not properly balanced, can turn against you. Even in a positive reading, there has to be a little bit of warning, huh? Fate is often perfidious. That's all. I hope the tarot cards helped you understand some aspects of your fate. What did you think of it? <laughs> I rate it five stars. Uh... Sure. 
sure, you're pretty good with it. about myself. You're pretty good with those cards. Thanks, Victor. Men often tell me that. I'm the one who should be thanking you. This was a welcome distraction for me. Is my choice to be nice to her or be an asshole, like, gonna reflect on whether I cheat on my girlfriend some more? Amanda is waiting for you in her room, seeing one. All right, I'll go to her now. And after that? Have you already learned your destiny? So you believe in those tarot cards and other magical mumbo-jumbo too, huh? Esoteric themes are full of kitsch and contradictions, but I believe in destiny as a philosophical construct. Anyway, the negation of existence of free will is a dominant theme in the world of science. I must okay. have slept during that lesson. Amanda must be getting impatient, seeing one. Like... I do have a morbid curiosity here. Like, if if we go to Lustga because of pleasure, like, what if two seeing ones get together? Like, do they just both go? I mean, I'm sure. Is she? Hmm. This is a good opportunity to look around. Is it? She's going to catch us. You know that, right? Okay, no extra clothes. Ooh. I did. Okay. Close all the drawers to make it look like I wasn't here. Nope. Okay, we're all good. Ooh. Oh, okay. So... So this is clearly the box from, like, this relates to the puzzle. No, I guess maybe, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I can't interact with it any further, so fuck it. <laughs> you know? Oh, close these doors back. Oh, what the fuck is that? Did you make this in pottery class? Hi. What's with these weird masks? Victor, right? Yeah, Victor Holloway. I'm Amanda Moon. I've been of course it is. for you ever since I caught a glimpse of the antique shop in my vision. I sent people to find you, but unfortunately, I had too little information to make it in time. What are you? It was my voice that you heard. I called on you. I felt you. Our minds are fused with Lestgov. I was able to connect with you through visions. And yes, I know what it sounds like. But there's no other explanation for it. Magic. I'm supposed to believe it. The land of ecstasy is real. And we are its voice on Earth. You can't run away. So you should stop denying it. How am I supposed to end this? I want some peace of mind. Nothing else. Because of these... visions. I lost sense of myself. I hit Lily. I fell into the trap of that bastard Austerlitz. I almost died. These visions are not a burden. A powerful force from another universe chose us. Imagine how much that means. What does this powerful being want from us? What does it want from me? It's Lauferbrach, the lustful god. I listen to his voice. Lately, I've been trying to figure out why so many seeing ones have appeared. And what did you find out? I know how to solve your problems, if you only help me. What do you mean? Touch my butt! You are not sick. It's Lustgar that has a disease. Oh. Only we can help it. Come with me. <laughs> yeah, let me go into this diseased world hole. <laughs> Fuck. What will be, will be. Yeah, sure. That's that's the tone to take with this. Who's that? Cuz that's not That looks like what's her face? Is this this picture's in 3D. That's so weird. But that definitely looks like uh my fiance a little bit anyway. Cuz it's definitely not her. Hi! Nice, nice vacation home you have here. 
Welcome to the land of ecstasy. Yeah. Feel different somehow. And for the first time, I'm not naked. When you transition through a portal, you don't leave any part of yourself on Earth. That includes all your belongings. Great. Finally, I have something to protect myself. Before you start swinging your letter opener, at least try to understand the world around you. Now, follow me. So I wonder if this place looks better when it's not diseased. <laughs> yeah, this, like this, this does. This... Watch out for the Manags. A few hits, and you may not make it back home in one piece. Okay. I thought I would be safer by having you around. Manags. You are. It's just that even I can't tame everything here. That door should probably be censored. Why do you call this place the land of ecstasy? This isn't how I'd picture ecstasy. This world was adapted to beings much different from you and I. But even it looked less ominous eons ago. For me, this place is amazing despite it all. You really don't see any beauty in it? Are you serious? This place is the definition of terror. One careless step and you're gone. Or worse. The Amazon can also be dangerous in its own right. Yet it's still beautiful. The animals in the Amazon just want to survive. But here, evil lurks around every corner. In the face of the absolute, there is no such thing as evil. Okay. There are only universes and their laws. This is Lustga. We're not meant to pass judgment here. Where are we even going? I don't even Towards want to be Zithyar. here. And even though we could get there faster, know that we'll stray a bit. Because I want to show you as much as possible. Okay. Should we not go up that ramp? Is there nothing up this ramp that I want? I feel like I should go up this ramp. This, these things are openable. Is there anything cool in them? I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm gonna stray a little bit on my own, actually. I'm just gonna go looking for some stuff. Yep, taking that shit. Cause I know that's the key to a door. Hey, I'm back. Come on, open the gate. Oh, <laughs> got a little bit ahead of you there, huh? So you weren't wearing a mask when you got here. Why'd you put it back on? Nothing? Okay, cool. What are you doing? It's essence in its purest form. We, the seeing ones, fused with Lystga, are especially sensitive to it. With a little practice, we can direct its flow. In a moment, I'll show you what I mean. Oh shit, do I get powers? Oh yeah, they said that at the end of the, the second demo. I get to change the world. See this crystal? It's a tool of the omniscient. Filling it with essence activates a mechanism containing a memory that reconstructs the build. Who are the omniscients? We can discuss that later. For now, watch. Okay, so I don't get actual I don't get any actual choice in the matter. I just activate a thing that's already there. Such power. It's impressive. You can do it too. Come. Uh is it safe? Come. <sighs> yes, ma'am. Oh no, we're running now. But why is it screaming? What I don't know. That didn't happen before. What is it anyway? A statue of Ugra Ekna, the great liberator. Oh. Does it remind you of anything? Maybe. <laughs> yes, it does. Oh, no. <laughs> it makes me think of Georgia O'Keeffe. Oh, hey, uh, this was lit up the before. Side, we have to find a way through the Manags. A uh, while ago, I met with a being whose light scared those tongues. That was a mature Vorn. We'll try to get his help. This is a good time to learn how to wield essence. Look for the source, absorb it, then come back to me. What? How am I supposed to absorb it? Reach out your hand and imagine the energy flowing into your body. 
It may seem strange at first, but you're a seeing one. You can do it. Right. So she came here to steal one of those things' babies, and those babe and those things lay their eggs in a censored thing. Cool. Easy peasy. All right. I'm going to imagine it. Here we go. Ooh. I have four what? S's. Fuck. What am I even doing? Absorbing essence. How was it? It was surprisingly easy and I feel fine. More than fine, actually. I knew you could do it. Okay, let's focus on the task at hand. Look okay. at these obelisks. We can use them to our advantage. But how? They served as transmitters of energy in Lustka. They can still be filled with essence. Vorn loses essence as it enters maturity and longs to be replenished. So when it senses a gathering of essence in the vicinity, it should gravitate towards it. Interesting. And I'm supposed to do that. Fill it with <laughs> Point essence. at it and feel the Imagine essence leaving your body. Imagine it leaves your body and goes to the obelisk. <laughs> if it fails, you will lose your energy and you'll have to look for another source of essence. Give it a try. Cool. Okay. Hmm. Oh. Next time you'll do better. Great. As you can see, you're a natural. What's next? Find Vorn and activate the nearby obelisk. That's how you'll summon him. Guide him by activating the subsequent obelisks, and he will lead you safely through the monadics. On it. Okay, we're all on board now, I guess. Hi, bud. So do I activate this one over here? Okay, cool. And then he should go to the next one, right? Can I take the essence back? Or do I need to... Like, do I only light one up at a time, or...? I'm... I'm so confused. Does it on a timer? It's kind of important to know. Right, so he's... here. Can I do this from here? Oh god, I can! That's cool! Okay, yeah, and that one goes quiet immediately. Got it. I should have. Ow! 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 Fuck! Oh, I already forgot how to do this. Hang on, I gotta look for another thing here because there's clearly gonna be something else here. The Stein story unlocked the concept of Trinity. Interesting. Press H to show the Book of Secret. Okay! News! The worlds created after the corruption died like the previous ones, incapable of awakening the ever-sustaining life within themselves. The void went against the transformation, and so the Demiurge has created the idea of the Trinity to seed further singularities. Each realm was given a Trinity, avatars of the Demiurges who were able to replicate their own powers. Each Trinity contained an initiator, a guide of essence, and a liberator responsible for turning ideas into action. Together they lead the worlds toward development and eternity. So that's kind of what they were talking about before. Like, there was one who was in who was the god of change or something like that. I don't remember. Like, there was a creator, a god of change, and then there was something else. So I guess that's the initiator, the liberator, and I don't know about the guide of essence. Uh, da, da, da. Together they lead the worlds toward development and eternity. It was Lavabrak, Akbalale, and Ugro Akna who embraced the legacy of the Demiurges. Let us follow their brilliance to the end of time. Okay. So, H to open the book of thingies. Oh. Oh! Interesting. Okay. Transformation, matter, and essence. Okay. 
These are demiurges, over gods, and the unmoved movers. Creators, destroyers, and silent observers. Everything is them, but they are not everything. The demiurges are created the universe as matter formed in clusters around them, then essence woven together with its power, and transformation gave them life and formed their ideals. It's due to the transformation that each universe and its components are unique. So have I missed a, a, a pod? The idea of corruption is only seemingly helpful since the new universes were destroyed before life had come had time to become fully awakened. The transformation required the most developed universes possible because the number of singularities increased geometrically with the evolution of the land. In order to make the universes more flourishing and increase their chances for survival, the Demiurges incorporated the idea of the Trinity into them following their own actions. That way, each universe received its own Trinity, an initiator who was also a creator, a guide of essences, and a liberator responsible for turning ideas into actions. And loose God, these avatars... Okay, yeah, we've already covered that essentially so i think i've missed uh, a pod and the squares are maybe not related to this somehow i don't know so i need to get back out here where homeboy's hanging out and Just follow along i guess Is she not coming with me, or... Oh, wow, what the fuck? How did you do that? How did you get here? I have my ways. As for Vorn, you did better than I thought. Let's go. Alright. It looks scary. There is nothing to fear. Go ahead. Oh, oh fucking hell. I, I feel so weak. Why did you let me go through it? Vlock is a symptom of the plague in this world. If there's no other way, you must go through it. Okay. Interesting to know. What does it actually do? Did it take away all my stuff? There's a crystal on the other side. You know what to do with it. Keep your eyes open. There should be a source of essence nearby. So is that what happened? Like, am I out now? Yeah, I'm out. Okay. Oh, these beings. I've met them before. Have we? These are the enthralled. They only exist to satisfy the lust of the changed. Are they dangerous? The most they can do is drool on you. Gross. They are less friendly when they get corrupted, though. What is corrupting them? First, let's take care of the bridge. Okay. Have I, have I met these guys before? Weird. Okay. I don't... I legitimately don't remember that part. Oh, now, where's use the... the essence on the crystal. Is that the crystal? This can be more difficult than activating the obelisks. I'll do what I can. Oh, I see now. I did it! Hmm. Second try. I'm impressed. I'm starting to like this. It's nice to feel, uh... Power? Yeah, I guess you could call it that. It's a nice change after thinking I was losing my marbles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, this, this is a good change from thinking you're going crazy. You're just, you know, using your sex telekinesis to reconstruct bridges. <laughs> Beast is that? Yeah, it I feel lives like in I've already seen it somewhere. Zuthra is not far from here. Let's go. I need answers, homie. Where did it go? Oh, okay. So I can't do that. Uh, you, you go ahead. Actually, I'm just going to run around here and see what uh, cool stuff I can find. Oh, yay! Thank you. I've been wanting one of those. Uh, just gonna take that. Yeah. Sometimes. Oh, really? I have to go acknowledge the puzzle first? Okay, fine. Whatever. Like, it's obviously a key. It's always been a key. We need to find key. another gem to open the gate. 
look around. I really don't like that. Like, I, I know what these are. It, it's a key. I, I've seen them before. I should be able to pick them up. Yeah, look what I did. This is shiny. Should we be over here? Oh, that what did that? Come here. Look at this. No. Gross. Ah, and it reeks. Nothing new. This is Garna. A cancer that corrupts Lustga. Wait, a tumor that corrupts I thought the Garna whole was world? See that sporangia? If you pull a corrupted enthrall near it and kill him, you will feed it with the disease. Then the tumor will grow, and you'll be able to walk over it. What? Kill the enthralled? Uh, I don't like it. It's the only way to get around here. We use what we must to survive this place. Shit, it looks so... likable. The corrupted enthralled will follow you when he senses essence. Lead him to the sporangia, then stab him. If there's no other way... Okay. Uh, uh, all right. I'm still unclear. Because you, you're just saying words like sporangia. And uh, that's not a word people know. Like, I'm going to guess it's something that releases spores, but... Uh, do, I, do I not have any essence? I don't know what's going on with the door over there. Uh. Oh, 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 oh my god, hi! Oh! Oh! So I've just got to get it like right here. Like, where have I seen Garna before? You're doing good. Okay. Like, I swear I've seen that word somewhere in this game before. Okay. Ooh. So I've got to figure out how to do this. That's interesting. Or... Maybe I don't. What if I just tank the damage? You know? I'm just gonna wait. I know I shouldn't be doing this. Okay. Okay. That was one. Oh, boy. Ha-ha! I did it! I skipped the thing. Cool. Oh, boy. I... Man. Uh, well, I won't be able to get back the way I came. So, uh... Yikes. Mm. Oh, hey! Cool, I cycled around. Everything's fine. Uh, I, I need to go find that, uh, that Amanda, pedestal again. where are you? Amanda? Oh, whoops, I lost her. Yikes! Okay, all healed. Let's go crawl on some tumors. Uh, which way was the tumor again? Okay, here we go. Back in the old tumor saddle. Oh! Oh. This is how I was supposed to get here. Whoops! <laughs> Arr, okay, I'll, I'll be back in a minute. Okay. Uh, I'm back. Urgh. Okay. I might not have had to come back here. 
Because I guess if I triggered the voice line, it's already... It's already gone beyond, right? So maybe... Oh. So maybe I need to just go back out the way we came in. And then... Whatever. Yeah, this. This, 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 this. Right. she on the other side of it? Yeah, of course she is. Don't leave me alone here. You need to know how to protect yourself. I won't always be around. I don't intend to ever come back here. Have hope. Zuthrar is close. Go. Yeah, that that doesn't help me because I still don't know what the fuck Zuthrar is. Is this Uthrar? Uh, I, I mean... It's weird, because every time I go exploring, I feel like I fuck something up, but... I feel like I need to go exploring to get all the extra lore and shit. I... I know this place. I've seen it in my dreams. I've... I've seen this corridor before. Did you see what's at the end? I never got there. Something always interrupted the vision. Once it was even by you. What? Lily was there. And then uh I don't I don't want to talk about it. I've been trying to contact you, but whatever you saw in your dreams, I had no control over it. Okay. Is this Zutra? Zutra is behind this gate. Can you feel it? I feel something like the power of this place. Ugh, I don't I don't know. It's hard to describe. Ooh, lots of cancer in this place. Lots of tumor. So, tell me about Zuthrar. Here we are. Go on. Touch it and it will open. Why don't you do it yourself? I saw you in a vision for a reason. I'm sure it was a thought implanted by the lustful god. Love or I will calls die. for help. And his scream reveals more of the seeing ones. Among them will be the person who enters Zuthrar. And I've held hope that it could be you. And how is that supposed to help me? In Zuthrar, there's the Lustga healing mechanism created by the Omniscience. With their collapse, it stopped working. And this world has become sensitive to the corruption you saw. When you open the gate, you will heal it. And Lavabrak will no longer have a reason to cry out for help. The story will end for you. Sweet! Just like that. We beat the Hocus game. pocus, and it all ends. Yes. Touch the gate at the central point. All right. Let's get this over with. Well, well, slightly above the central point, right? Do I have to pull anything back, or...? Oh, yep, yeah, that, that point right up there at the top, the little round one. Amanda, are you okay? You've seen him, haven't you? I saw... something, and, and I heard a voice. There's no entry to Zuthrar. There's no escape from Zuthrar. Only the one who created these truths can hold the key. It's like someone has engraved it in my mind. You heard Lauverbrock, the lustful god, speak. That's incredible, Victor. What's next? What's this key? <laughs> she doesn't yet, fucking know. <laughs> but I'll find out. This. This is something. When I touched the gate, nothing happened. Lauverbrock brought me to you for a reason. There's something special about you. I did what you wanted. Why is this not the end? I was sure I'm shocked. Zuthra would open. Without it, your visions won't cease. I'll talk with the Enlightened about this. Let's go back. Can you just open a thing? I don't want to have to walk. <laughs> okay, cool. Okay, we're back. I'll go ask Sabinian if I can call Lily. Just call her. Be sure to destroy the phone afterwards, though. 
Okay. I feel like I should talk to Sabinian first, but that's fine. You're in charge here. Oh, there's only one left. Come on. Pick up. Hello? Lily. <sighs> Sorry. I, I thought things wouldn't take so long, but, you know, this is all fucked up. I, I don't even know how to tell you this, but, but I'm coming back. I mean, I'm figuring out how to get back. Victor, someone wants to talk to you. Really? Uh, what? Who? Victor, it's me, your doctor. Of course she came here. Where are you? What? What the fuck? As your doctor, I must point out the getting. I'm telling you, she's got to be in on it. Health. Now, relax and tell me where you are. You bastard! If you do anything to her, I'll. You'll do what? Just tell me where you are. She will get hurt. I know that bitch Amanda took you. I know you're at the house of the cult of ecstasy. Where is she? What? What what cult of ecstasy? Ah, I have no patience for this. Rhea, lower the cross. No, leave her alone. It was so kind of Lily to follow you to Bleakmore. It's made things so much easier for us. No, please, no. Tell me where you are, Victor. You will save the pawn, and I will get the queen. That's a terrible I trade. Move. <laughs> Say what you know. Lie! It's an abandoned church. It's in... D destroy the phone. Now. What's this next, helps Victor. This helps my straight or I'll shoot. This this definitely helps Victor, my uh, like time for your correct move is running out. This is blitz chess. Credibility. One, one word more. Destroy the phone. Victor. Fuck. She followed me here. What did I pull her into? Shit. Take it easy. Take a couple of d deep breaths. Take it easy? Are you fucking kidding? She's hanging on a fucking cross in the in, in the theater. I, I I've I've seen what they do to people. I'll go talk to Amanda. We'll figure your something out. Fuck me. I can't believe what's happening. We have to go there. I I have to save her. Can someone help me? Will you help me? If you want, you can talk to the others, but I... Give me a moment. I have to... Amanda. Okay. Uh, I don't know if it started a new chapter or not, but I'm, I'm at time. So until the next video, stay safe, take care of yourselves, and we're going to put together a search party. Bye.